All right, YouTube, sub 350 here, and today we are going to be replacing my TIG Torch and TIG Torch cable with a CK Superflex welding cable that I got from Weld Fabulous. You know, the shipping, they don't have free shipping, but, you know, that's fine by me. Now, I'm replacing my cable because this is the cable that came stock with my torch on my scratch start TIG rig. It's an okay cable, it's average, but it's super no flex. As you can see, it kinks when I bend it, it's really stiff, it actually twists the torch. Um, in my hand when I'm trying to weld and I'm replacing the torch because, you know, it looks normal and you saw that little crack there and I'll get to that. I pulled off the insulator because I was using a, a gas lens kit on it, so a different insulator. But as I fumble with the torch here, I'm trying to do this all one-handed. Um, didn't think to grab my tripod, I was just too lazy to do it. But as you can see, <laughs> I am pretty sure that that is not supposed to happen. Now, I accidentally pulled the Teflon insulator off, and it was because I saw something I didn't think was right, and then I flexed that, and the neoprene actually peeled away, so it was my stupid mistake, and I think it's broken because I kind of abused the torch when I first got it. Now, I know a good torch should be able to take some abuse, but I didn't really know what I was doing, so that's why I think um, I abused it a little bit too much. And so I ended up just ordering one off of Amazon. So here we go. We're about to slit open the box that came from uh, Weld Fabulous. Um, you know, the shipping, like I said earlier, is all right. But, you know, you have to still have to pay shipping. But it's not honestly as bad as you might think. It was like six, seven, eight, maybe ten bucks in shipping for this 12 and a half foot feet of CK Superflex cable. And I mean, it's a Superflex. You just can't really get that anywhere else. It's a... You know, you have to pay a lot of money. I paid like 35 bucks for this 12 and a half foot piece. And, uh, you hear the, the uh, number 12 and a half a lot because that's the length of the cable. But, um, I paid like 35 bucks for it. So that's, I think, in my eyes, that's a good deal for a quality CK Worldwide product. As you can see, made by CK Worldwide. I have their gas lens kit. Quality TIG torches and accessories. And something I thought was really cool, too, is that for 35 bucks, I got a TIG torch hose that was made in the USA. There you go, 12 and a half foot, one piece, super flex for a 17, 18, or 26 torch. And there she is. Isn't that beautiful? Woo-wee! <laughs> and we also got an ad in here for a steady grip, which would be nice, except my TIG welder, his scratch start, doesn't have remote amperage control. But I'll show you just how nice the cable is here in a sec. And here I am. Uh, I'm inside right now, inside my house, actually the dining room, because it is, as of the filming, it was way too cold to go outside, it's even colder now. Um, but as you can see, just kind of holding it here, it, it just kind of flops. It, it's, it doesn't, it's not stiff, it just kind of, just holding it, it kind of just flops. And, um, I'll do something here quickly. Um, you can see my arm, and I can do this with it, and still have it flexible. I can wrap it around my arm, I'm just trying to find a way that's comfortable for me. And, as you can see, I wrapped it more than one time around my arm, and it's not kinking. So it's a nice cable, and I bumped my camera there, but it's really nice. It's super flexible. It just kind of flops around, you know? It's not that stiff. I don't know how they make it, but they did a great job for it. I'm pretty sure Weldcraft has an equivalent if you're a Weldcraft guy, but go with the CK. I mean, you'll know it works. It's tried and true. And, you know, CK makes some pretty good stuff, so I've only used a couple of their products. But anyways, we're about to go to the unboxing of the TIG torch here. Now, if you notice, uh, this was filmed on two different days. The torch cable came, like, two days, two or three days before the, um, uh, uh, torch actually came. Uh, the torch came two or three days before the cable. I, I'm sorry, I can't speak today. But as you can see, just... Pulling out the torch, it's nicely wrapped, it went with the United States Postal Service, which sometimes isn't the best at keeping boxes together. And it looks exactly the same as my other torch, which I have here, the broken one. Um, you know, down to the connections and everything, um, they're almost completely identical. So I'm going to put that one down and put my other torch next to it. No difference. The only difference between them is one, the one I bought is a fixed head, and the one that broke was a flex head. As you can see, that's the broken one. And it's a flex head. So, you know, you can bend it any which way, but to be honest, I didn't really use that feature, and I don't necessarily need it right now. This one's rigid head and everything. But, you know, it's a fairly nice torch, so you can pop off the Teflon insulator if you need to. But they look almost identical, but the one I have, the fixed head I bought, I think is a little bit nicer quality than the other TIG torch I bought. So we're going to slide that aside, 
and we're going to put this thing together. I brought, already brought in the uh, power block adapter, and so what we're going to do here is we're going to take one end and screw it in. Now, I will tighten these later with a wrench off camera, um, just because I've had problems with them coming loose, and I've decided that I don't like that. So now we're going to take the uh, handle off. we got to slide that on first. That's the most important step. If you've ever forgotten that, you know how frustrating it is. <laughs> yeah, I've done that before. It's, it's, I think I did that when I was first putting this thing together. I'd have to check the original video. But you see, it just screws on nicely, and the cable's really nice. I think the, the red look goes really well with, with the black and the uh, bronze. And as you can see, actually, I just cut... Um, we're about to put some 1 16th TIG torch parts, but I have to take the regular Teflon insulator off because the gas lens, stubby gas lens won't work with it. So we're going to slip this one on, and this one is, I blew on it just to try and get some of the dirt out. This one is just a press fit. It's not like a super tight fit, as you see, it kind of comes off pretty easily. But, you know, I can snap it on and off, you know, it stays on. Um, and I think that's just how it was designed to be, honestly. It wasn't designed to be tight fitting. We're going to screw in the actual gas lens into the torch body and we're going to put the, like that you know kind of self-explanatory we're going to turn it on hand tight i think i may have stripped some of the threads i don't know i said i abused my other torch so i'm trying my best not to abuse this one you can see if i had a short tungsten and i'm using 1 16th tungsten which is why it's so small um if i had a one a, 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 a short back cap like the little button cap on it this torch would be very very, very small. So just trying to get the right stick out here, and just gonna adjust a little, there we go. Because my old torch had problems where I'd have to screw that in all the way, and sometimes it wouldn't even, um, the cap, it wouldn't even keep the tungsten in. But this one doesn't look like it's gonna have that problem. It looks really nice. It looks like I'm gonna be able to start this really easily. So let's get to it. Now this is double speed, because I'm pretty sure you guys don't wanna watch me at full speed, because this is like a six minute video that I took um, of me welding. Yeah, I'm wearing a nylon sweatshirt, but it's TIG, so it doesn't throw sparks off, honestly. Um, I threw a little bit of sparks off, but I'm low on gas, and that might have just been gas, and that the metal wasn't the cleanest thing ever. It's been sitting there for like a week and a half. Um, it's just something I did padding beads with when I before I broke my torch. But uh, what you see me doing here is I'm cutting the filler rod to make it more manageable. Um, all I have is 1 16th on hand, and that's all I use. I'm planning to pick up some 3 seconds for a bigger project. But you can see my welder's kind of sitting down on the table here. You can see, there we go, I started it starts really nice uh just as nice and what i like about this is that it, the arc in the puddle is more focused with the 1 16th at low amperage i had someone recommend this to me someone who's a much better welder than i am on a forum someone recommend this to me and you know it's working out pretty well um it'll save on gas it'll you know it'll i use i can see a lot of applications because 1 16th i can turn my machine all the way up and use it and turn it all the way down and use it so, because my machine's 20 to, um, 80 amps, 20 to 90. You can see the extreme torch angle I'm using. That's not the best torch angle. But I was trying to get a good view, um, out of my helmet here. And I tr I think I try to correct it in a little bit. But, you know, it's it's not a bad torch angle. But you can see me well in the way. I'm wearing my fixed shade helmet with the gold lens. Gold lenses are great, by the way, if you've never used one. Uh, I'm thinking about putting a cheater cheater lens in this one, too. I'm probably going to buy that at some point. But, as you can see, the torch works absolutely beautifully. And what you can see me doing here, just in front of the camera as I'm cranking up my gas flow, just to about 15 CFH to, um, uh, you know, kind of clean everything up a little bit. There's a little bit of oxide swimming around in the puddle that I could see. I didn't get any arc shots. I didn't feel like it was worth my time to get arc shots for this. But... Arc shots in future videos, um, I have a couple videos that I think will be coming up, you know, I'm gonna probably buy a couple things, I'll unbox and put them together, and that's what it looks like when you don't TIG weld with gas. And, uh, I have muted the video, but I just basically yelled gas, and you can see that's where it was, um, where there was no gas, I should have ground that out, but I'm going over and dipping in the ER-70S2, and that seems to help, and then I just kind of weld along, weld along, weld along, weld along, and I'm good to go. So anyways, you're 
about soon. I won't tell you about any future videos yet, but I will just tell you to expect some videos where I'll be welding thick and thin for an underwater project, which I have, uh, I am deeply interested in that. I love that stuff. It's great, but I am definitely going to be building some kind of underwater rover out of steel tubing. I'm going to use my, all my welding skills that I have, but anyways, I'll just let you watch me finish up the welding and I'll give you my final review in a sec. All right, so this is concluding my video on the CK Superflex torch cable and the new TIG torch. Now, let's start with the cable first. I love it. I don't know what I did without it. It's super lightweight. It's super flexible. The torch is, uh, it's, it's an average torch. Uh, I dipped in my tongue, so I have to clean that before I come out and TIG weld again. But it's an average torch, but it works great. You know, it's not a flex head, but... Didn't really use the flex head feature anyways, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, uh, oh boy, I haven't done an outro in a while. Um, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, like, subscribe. Do whatever you can to help me make more videos like this. I really enjoy making them for you guys, and... Uh, yeah, they're just fun to make. They're fun for me. I think they're fun to watch, videos like this. And so if you can just support me by subscribing, that'd be great. Anyways, I might as well see you guys in the next video, which will be a welding one. Peace.